What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and welcome back to NBA 2K16. Moving on to our next game. Oh, I got a buzz buzz. I have to do one of these. I see how it is. That's kind of neat. So your off days are actually getting... How do you pull up the, the cell phone? Hold on a minute. Let me look. Let me look at the days. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll put today into phenomenal. Fl no, we have eight days, right? So one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh dear. Okay. Um, what was this endorsement? I have to be at two events. I probably should have waited on that. So I'm going to go for the Spalding. Yes. Okay, that's all you do. And then you just get money, extra money. I like how they do that. It's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, wait, but then I still have the, the 31st as well. Look at that. Okay, that's perfect. So that works. All right. So we're going to go to Brooklyn. Get this bad boy going. And I see. Okay. And then you can use it with live practice. And that'll give you an attribute upgrade as well. So let's keep going. Going to Brooklyn, which is kind of home. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. It's basketball out in Brooklyn. Barclays Center is the venue. We'll see the Nets go up against the Charlotte Hornets. Checking out the Hornets, their first time playing these guys this season. A year ago, going one and two. They'd like to improve on that this go around. Al Jefferson played for several teams in his NBA career, but no matter what uniform he has on, he is a load, a real handful, Kenny. Well, he can shoot the mid-range journey, and that's probably his biggest asset. And, you know, then he could take you down on the block. That's probably one of his bread and butter moves. I like his jump hook, though, because when he goes to that, it creates space in the lane and allows guys to offensive rebound as well. You know, my nickname for him is Baby Fundamentals, has tremendous feet work in the post. And Ernie, believe it or not, he has a deceptive quickness to get a shot up before the defense sets up. Great footwork, too. Yeah. Do you have, um, you have a nickname for everybody? Right. What's Ernie's nickname? What's my nickname? The Godfather of Television. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that for us. You've been around a long time, Ernie. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. You're, you're a friend of mine, Ernie. <laughs> See you later. That's hilarious. I like those. They're kind of cool. So that while it's loading, you actually get to hear something. A little something, something. Play to my rhyme book. Uh. To a page of my rhyme book. Getting checks money, sitting while the time's up. Where the gangsters at? Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Hi, this is Kevin Harlan, joined by my partner. I wonder if there's any progression, like, where with us starting and whatnot. All right. Run, Mr. Jack. Robinson comes in for Thaddeus Young. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in oh, for Oh, it's me. Lamb. Sorry, my and bad. I was dreaming. Jack has subbed in for Mo Williams. Setting the floor for the Hornets. Quinn, he's in at point guard. Spencer Hawes out there with Kaminsky. Then there's Batum, and it's Lynn in at the two-guard spot. And there's the pass to Quinn. Wide open. And they take the lead. Money for days. First basket of the night. And whenever Freak finds himself in New York, Clark, you can always bet on seeing his mom and dad in the stands watching him play. Well, Freak yeah, right. is somewhat the pride of New York with his roots and ties to the city. When they own you, they embrace you. I'm you curious. I'm nice wondering if I had if I had chosen New York like the Knicks. Fan. If I would have got something Looking out of that. Last game for Charlotte, it was a loss to the Bulls. And you know what? A shame that either team had to lose that game because wide you're open proud of the way they battled in it. Yeah, oh, I suppose that's oh right, come on. It was heartbreaking to me. You take the losing OT. No matter but he's probably how hard you play, throw you up a brick on top if you're going to play not. those extra minutes. The Hornets have gone an even 50% from the field. They are that's all you, Batum. For the game. That's a fading three. Why would the you do that? Plant your no feet, good. bro. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy. I see it. I so see far. it. Oh, I, I did see it, but I, my movement was off. Robinson. Doubled by Quinn. Here's Jack. Ah. Jack Not how I want to start this game off. This one. 
You know, I think, Kevin, they took a bit of a chance there going to the double team, and that left another guy open out there. Quinn kicks to Hawks. There's the pick. And there's the feed to Lynn. Lynn Sanity, I'm trying to, to get through. Inside. Oh, what? I didn't even Jim. call for that. In transition, here come the Nets. Thornton what is going on? Goes back up. What is and happening? Hard that time. It was just such a clusterfuck in there. I didn't even know it was going down. With this stoppage in play, we have a chance now to show you which teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. Fifth on the list for the Hornets. So Their where did we come? Shooting last year was nothing short of spectacular. I mean, they were absolutely unconscious from the three-point line. And Thornton drops two. Here's Quinn. He's coming off a 19-point game against Chicago. Outside, Batum. Take it, Batum. Wow, that was a terrible screen. Over to the wing. Shot oh, I let go early! Oh, thank God, because I had so much space. Oh, that was bad. That was too nine. much space. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. There's a screen oh, there was a couple of options. Johnson against Batum. I'm going to pass to Jack. With the fadeaway. And he sinks ah. that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And a lot of timeouts going down. Four. All right now. The stats for Jack. A very nice season for him last year. Yeah, he's a good he point guard. About 12 points per game last year. Seven assists and three rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands Calling out about the screen. his recent performances. Hey, every train needs a conductor, man. He unifies his team. That's you, man. Oh my God! Take and your they shots. Make some sweet, Whoa. sweet music. Down to five oh. on the shot clock. Lynn. Oh, I was trying. He boxed me out. And We're good, though. Shots good after hitting off the rim. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen. Ah, oh, damn play. it! I was I wasn't very patient. Brooklyn shooting their sixth and seventh. Ah, I didn't realize they were in the bonus. That was a new move. And the first one at the line is good. And he can't hit the second. They've been sensational Lynn. on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really yeah. good word for it, Greg. <laughs> nice, They're wide open. It up on the glass. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter. Johnson outside. Oh, I see it, I see it. Kicks to Thorne. Oh. Right side Jack. That's my man. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Everyone got all switched around. Another nice bucket confusion. down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, and I, I think we're going to see them operate oh, what a lot there? of their offense from the interior today. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Quinn passes to Hawes. And Batum kicks to Quinn. No way. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. And here is Johnson. Jack. Oh, I got three. stuck on him. We're there. All right, I need a bit more time to shine. A bit more Coach time Lionel to shine. Known for his no -nonsense style. I told him all, you can joke. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I still don't think that Coach Allen's is anyone uh, to be trifled with, and I think the net players would agree with me on that one. <laughs> oh, yes, I know they, they've got that one figured out. And I do, too, as a matter of fact. The last thing anybody on the team better be doing is laughing at Lionel Hollins. Just ask Darren Williams. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. Yeah, no way I can miss that. What stands out to you from the Nets in this one? You can tell the point of emphasis has been to get to the offensive glass. Yep, and they've set the tone here early with the hustle they've come out with. So on the floor for Charlotte to start this second quarter. Zeller and Jefferson are inside. Freak is out there with Roberson. And it's Batum in at the small forward position. Ah. And a chance here to catch up with the I don't want I don't want to leave my man every Doris time. Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Bulls was simply terrific. He finished with 19 points and was effective from long range as he got that scoring line by dropping in a good amount of points. Yep. If his Too much space. If the first game of the season is any indicator to the kind of year he's going to have, all you can say is look out, league. 
guys. All right, thank you. Oh my God, you're kidding. Special game from a player that we know is incredibly capable for this team. Yeah, and he proved his value again in that last game. I mean, he's a cog in their machine, no doubt. Yeah, and they're going to need a few other players to oh. land a bigger hand today. I mean, You're fine. Get up. expect him to carry the entire load two games in a row. The Hornets trail. Oh, I should have passed it off. I was debating. But I don't think he would have shot. It's not an easy task. Stopping that fella. Oh He's man. To the bucket like that good that job. is not good. Well, Lamb. Nice groove Lamb's gone. Here in the second. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. Kid Gilchrist dishes the win. He feeds it to Jefferson. There's a screen. Six on the shot clock. That was kind of weird. That was a weird place for a screen, to be honest. Look at how the Hustlestead game has been going for Brooklyn. And it's been Very good. I'm off. They're playing with a frenetic... So there's no co coach interaction right now, from what I can see. It's a close game here in Brooklyn. Lynn kicks to Quinn. There's the dish to Kaminsky. Out to the right wing. On Where are you? What? And again, the Hornets missing. Well, How am I no missing that? In his face right there. I thought for sure. Yeah, what the he hell? Knock that down. Who are you gonna pass to? Outside Jack. Bargnani sets the screen for Jack. Pulls up. High post. No good. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay at. Oh God, I was boxed lucky out. Lucky couldn't punish them for. It. Brooklyn's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Basket is oh, God, Johnson. toilet bowl finish. Johnson's got his Only down by a couple. Tonight. In the first, he had trouble hitting with any consistency. But here in the second, he's turned it around. Latoon passes to Quinn. Woo! Hell yeah. Kia's got to bring out that. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented. Kind of a weird place. <laughs> Just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. I tell you what, though, great dunk, and, and this is even a better game we got going on right now. Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. Jack dishes to Young, feeds to Bargnani. Oh, no, I didn't want to jump. Here oh, no. Plays it up that was my it fault. In. Yeah, definitely a Jack's defensive got breakdown. Seven points here in this quarter. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. A shot by Kaminsky. Nobody nice now. shot. Buries it from Brilliant. Point range. Yeah, it's such a sweet three. We were ahead of the D. There, and it can really open things up inside. Because Watch the reach. Because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. Bargnani kicks to Jack. Trying nope. to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Take it, Lynn. Lynn against Young. Off the screen. I was kind of sketchy. Because you weren't in the open. Like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. Uh, <laughs> Can't get it to go. <laughs> Not enough. And the first half comes to a All right, first half's in the books. We are up by one point. Doing pretty well out here. Chill out, Zeller. He's always got a little... He's always shaking his head when he comes in. And now, the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Well, Lopez has been great. Yes. And the new group in for the Nets. Bargnani has checked in for Lopez. Robinson comes in for Young. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for Johnson. And Jared Jack has subbed in for Mo Williams. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Kaminsky is checked in for Zeller. But Toon comes oh, in come for on. Jeremy Lin, he's, he's so pissed. For Coach is like, what the and fuck? subbed in for Walker. Thomas Robinson is out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then it's Bargnani. Then it's Jarrett Jack. And it's Horton in at the two guard. So that's the next five. And Jack kicks to Robinson. Back to Jack. Just five to shoot. 
almost, but it rolls out. Their game plan needs to change. Let's if try to see who's up there. Because he is just not, Why not? There offensively. Come on. Here's Jefferson. There's Attaboy. At least you got the board. Digit lead. Jefferson's got six points in the quarter. I mean, he is just demoralizing his opponent right now on the backboard. They didn't want anything to do with him on that possession. Almost like they were just giving up on the play. There's a screen by Robinson. Oh, I almost had it. That's right there. Take it. Outside Jack. No one near him. I left him. The Technically, I left him. Jack's got 12 in the game. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. No, never mind. Jefferson against Bargnani. Baseline jumper. The shot is off. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Is that me? me? No. Nope. Winsky. You'll see from them all season long. Even for a game they weren't supposed to win, oh. it should not have been that bad. Against a lesser team, that performance wouldn't have been good enough. But play that way against a good team, and you end all right, up we're with still the doing all right. result that they had. Pass, pass, so, pass. Making a switch here. Pause is checked in. Hornets. Go, Kaminsky. Eight. Oh, my God, bro. In the corner, it's Freak. Backing up. Calling the screen. Move the ball. Stick it too much. And it's Kaminsky at the elbow. That's you, nice man. Pass. Nice. Let him to the rack Brilliant. for the layup. Kaminsky's got seven points. Brooklyn's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Lynn against Thornton. Out to the right wing. Oh, God, no. Goes up for base. Oh, get that out of here. Woo! So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. <laughs> Not today, Jack. Got seven, literally, Jack. You got seven seconds on the clock. Six to shoot. Shot I was right Jack. there. Open, that is baloney. Very good look and converts. Jack's got four this quarter. The Hornets have gone six of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Kaminsky kicks to Lynn. Kaminsky sets the pick. Oh, that was Lynn. a good screen. Out left to the wing. From outside the arc. Ah, that looked good. Lynn, no good. The Nets trail by eight. Thornton with it, and it's Lynn picking oh, up. Come on, I was right there. Robinson okay, good. Misses. Charlotte has gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the nice, break. Nice, good play. Two, good. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, you know, exploding to the basket like that, Greg, just as soon as that ball was going the other way, that's um, exactly how you want to do it. Jack passes to Thornton. Rebound by I'm Quinn. There. Hornets leading by 10. Hold that for Pause, me. Thank you. Pass to Lynn. On the wing, but two. The best nice. Off the assist from Lynn. That was brilliant. Lynn's got his fourth assist in this one. Add another triple to their second half total. They came out of the break just dropping bombs. And I see just it. They're not letting oh. up. About seven Barnyard. seconds the shot and game clocks. And Thornton kicks to Lamb. The kick out to Jack. There's a screen by Robinson. They got to get rid of it. Shoots from the high post. And with ah. that, the Hornet lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Jack. He's so tough to guard. He can fake you one way and then just spin right by you. And Woo! Push it down. <laughs> oh, he's just dangling from the rim after sending That's pretty it crazy. Through there. You can see which team now has the Swagger Clark right now. Yeah, it's exactly. It's with them. I can't believe and I got him back there. I'm happy with that, though. All right now, I want everyone here. At the and thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. All right. So we're making some changes. Marnani is uh, not in for this Young. again. Jeremy Land comes in for Joe Johnson, and it's Thornton in for Jarrett Jack. Freaks checked Come in. Come on. Uh. Come on, brother. Here's Quinn. On the floor for Charlotte. 
Oh, wrong. No, oh, I didn't want that. I wanted Jefferson. Roberson is out there with Freak, and it's Jefferson in at the five down low. Marnani is screened on Jefferson. And the Nets miss again. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, nice. strong rebound has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Now here's Williams. D right on him. Oh, crap. A floater. And the layup is that was a good one. I'll give him Williams that. Williams has got seven points here in this quarter. You know, obviously, he knows how to finish with some flair. Oh, I didn't want that. What is going so on? By 10. And a wide, wide open. open. The rebound what? By Lopez. You are Lopez kidding. Rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Back to Williams. What is going Plays on? It up. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. The Hornets have gone All 7 right. to 16 from the field. Chill out, chill out, slow it up. 43%. Pit by Zeller. Quinn passes to Zeller, and Jefferson wide open. Nicely he done, boys. Knocks down the 10-footer. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket Ooh. just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Here's Bargnani. Parked oh, down that time and he got nice. the second goal. Yeah, big blunder there. And Too and much fucking around. Cost. Yeah, and the timing of it was bad, too. I mean, they're trying to cut down and cut into the lead. Just a tough, bad break there. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Young comes in for Bargnani. And it's Johnson in for Marcus Thornton. Pass to Jefferson. Oh, oh what was that? Good D by Lopez. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Williams now, of course, that's my man. Look. That's good. And Johnson so stupid. I was nowhere to be found. That's Someone should have filled the slot. And I like how he draws the attention on the inside and then the nice little Williams kick out in rhythm for the jump. All right, we're still doing all right. We're up by 10. It's a good margin. 152 left in the game. There's a good screen, and it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Whoa, Kid Gilchrist losing Johnson. control. Uncovered. Of course. It's we'll rebounded by Kid Gilchrist. Kid Gilchrist has got rebound number got seven for him inside. tonight. Now here's Freak. Lopez covering. Kid Gilchrist against Williams. Kid Gilchrist what is going on? Jefferson. Nice. From 11 feet. Jefferson, Jefferson beasted and beasted. 12 points here in the second half. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Outside Williams. Dishes to Lopez. Now here's Lamb. He's covered closely, and Whoa. Lopez gets it to go. Lopez is on his ass. Let's, Let's go get up. And what's otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. Charlotte has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. They're six of 15. Guys, I think this. I was is trying to do a floater. Have to feel good about as we That's wind okay. through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid Not phase for Charlotte. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, Clark, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any breaks we themselves. Well, it's more than luck, Kevin. I think the shot selection was good, too. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season. Too bad. Over. And, Greg, we know from All right, well, it's tip, I would expect things to become more heated as these teams face each other going it. forward. And while it's a team game, you can't win without guys showing up. And that was the case tonight. What is Al happening? Jefferson. Whoa, he was that's... doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. This game's finally gotten away from them. Yeah, it certainly has. Oh! Really I love that sound of rejection. <laughs> Looks like he'll be Netflix and chilling by himself tonight. Oh, that's great. Come on, man. Let's go. I'm trying to hit. No, come on. I don't care. 
It's not working! Copyright! God damn it. Thank you. Stupid. Stupid. You you can't come back. That's too much. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. And the Nets miss again. McGee! And whether he's a great off-balance shooter or not, the, the lean is probably not the best option on that shot. Yeah. That one. Come on now, let's go. That's over and 100. Lead by 12. And this is going to be a fantastic result for them. No win on the road comes easy. Not in the NBA, they don't. And trust me. Wow. Oh, I got the foul? Pleasure in this win. That was kind of Having pointless. Silenced an entire building of hostile fans. No good on that one. Okay. He got wrecked. There was no need to foul. That was their point. And he sinks the second. From deep three-point range. Oh, <laughs> that would have been funny. So it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. All right, we did not, we dominated, baby. That's a, a good chunk of BC to spend. Game show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith with Al Jefferson. There's no doubt about it. This guy is a leader. He was in attack mode all night, calling for it. Yeah, he was beasting and, and beasting. And folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Come on, man. I get it. All right, let's advance and see what's new. Probably nothing crazy, but let's check it out. All right, we're back in the gym. Not a whole lot new yet. We'll check out what we need to do in the next, uh, you know, in the next video. We'll, we'll, we'll see the endorsements, make sure we get it. So until then, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, favorite as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in more NBA 2K16 with my career. We'll see you next time.